All right, got to make a real quick video here on this really interesting comment. Except a man be born again, uh, no kingdom of God. Uh, says, what's the difference between between messing with them and witnessing the true God to them? By messing with them, do you mean mock? Elijah mocked the Trinitarians in 1827. It is amazing that the Lord revealed to me that in 1 Kings 18, there was a face-off, Godhead versus the Trinity. Notice how in verse 25, Elijah spoke about the prophets of Baal as gods, but when they actually called upon their gods, it was one. Trinitarian, Trinitarianism is Baal worship as in the day. Okay. Uh, don't know who exactly you are here. I've seen some of your comments before. Got the Jerusalem flag there, which is great. But uh, let me show you what they're talking about here. Get sword searcher over here. Um, verse 25. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves, and dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your gods, plural, but put no fire under. See, the, the, the concept of a trinity, of three different gods, but they're all just one god, it goes way back into ancient Babylonian Baal worship. You look, and there was all these different gods, plural gods, but they're only one god, Thing all throughout history. Trinitarianism is not a new thing. Trinitarianism goes way back into the ancient pagan religions of the past. They've had the thing of three gods, but they're just one god. And you'll see these people today, these Trinitarians, they do the same thing. They'll say, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They're, they're not the same. The Father's not the Son. The Son's not the Spirit. The Spirit's not the Father. They're three different gods. Okay? Each one has a different title, but there's only one god. They're all just one god. But they have three different names of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. It's the same thing. They're Baal worshippers. Verse 26. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon. They only called on the name of Baal. Hmm. Saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them, like I mock the Trinitarians today, and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Wait a second. He called them your gods, plural, up here. Down here he's saying he is a god. Just one. This is, how about that for some insight for you? Praise the Lord for that comment. Either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is on a, in a journey or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awakened. <laughs> and they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. And, you know, the, these Trinitarians just froth at the mouth. It's the core doctrine of Christianity. It's so important. It's not that important. Okay, Godhead Trinity, It's this is not the main issue of Scripture. The main issue in Scripture is the authority of Scripture. Psalm 119 is all about the authority of God's Word. All right, let me show you here. Let's go to Psalm 138. Verse 2, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. You say, what's that have to do with the Trinity? Well, uh, Trinitarians call Jesus, or, you know, the, they call it the Blessed Trinity. That's a name. That's not a description. Well, it's a triune, it's a triune God. No, it's a name. God in three persons. Blessed Trinity. The most blessed Trinity. That's what Catholics say. That's what Trinitarians say. Because they're worshiping Baal. Do you get it? God's word, the authority of scripture, is the central theme of the Bible. You go all through the Bible. They're magnifying God's word. God's saying, hey, don't add to or, or subtract from. But the Trinitarians have to. Just like the Baal worshippers in the Catholic Church. They must add to the scriptures and then tell you, this is the most important thing in the Bible. It's not in the Bible, but it's the most important thing in the Bible. The people, why are we fighting about this? You know, see these things. Why, why are we fighting about this? Well, why don't you go back there in the Old Testament and go to Elijah and say, why don't you stop fighting against the the, the priests of Baal? You know, this it's it's not the main thing. We should focus on more important issues. <laughs> you know, you should be witnessing to people instead of talking about Trinitarianism. Uh, why aren't you witnessing to people? It's okay for you to come and comment on my video, but, you know, somehow you're excluded from the same thing. Just, 
Trinitarians, I mean, that's a, what an amazing point right here. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 25 through 27. Absolutely amazing. Trinitarians are male worshipers. They're worshiping a false set of gods that's only one god. Uh, that's not there. Um, I'm not done by a long shot kicking this whole Trinity thing. The Lord's given me a whole bunch more evidence that I'll be bringing out in the future and some more fun things. So uh, stay tuned.